In this tutorial, we will learn how to write a simple inline assembly program. Inline assembly is a method of embedding assembly code within C or C++ code. The assembly code is placed within the ASM construct and there are two different forms of the ASM construct. The first is a simple ASM format and the second is the extended ASM format. But for the purposes of this example, we will be using the simple ASM format. The simple ASM format consists of the keyword ASM followed by an optional keyword volatile followed by a set of open and close parentheses within which you place your assembly code. You then use G++ to build your C++ program as you normally would which will in turn build your inline assembly code. One important thing to remember when we write our inline assembly code is that it will be using the AT&T syntax. Now let's start off with a very simple example to get a feel for inline assembly programming. So in this example we have a C++ program where there is a global variable which is initialized to a value of 0. Our task is to move a value of 5 to the variable using inline assembly and then display the new value of the variable. So let's take a look at the program and here I have the global variable val which is initialized to a value of 0. Now my goal is to move a value of 5 into this global variable and I plan to do this in two steps. So step 1 will require me to move a value of 5 to an architectural register and step 2 will in step 2 I am going to move the value from that register to the global variable val. So let's start with the first step here. We move a value of 5 to the architectural register and I can pick any architectural register I want. Uh, I'm going to pick the EAX register. So since I pick the EAX register, step 0 and step 3 essentially save and restore the old value of the RAX register and RAX is just the 64-bit version of the EAX register. So the first step I'm going to do here is to move a value of 5 into the RAX register and the way I do this is by using the move instruction and uh, as I said before RAX is the 64-bit register so I'm going to use move Q uh, the, and the Q denotes that it's a 64-bit move. So I move Q a constant of 5 into the RAX register. So the first operand in the AT&T syntax is the source and the second operand is the destination. So I then move the value from the RAX register to the global variable val and I'll be using the move instruction again for this but in this case the source will be the RAX register and the destination will be my global variable val and once I'm done moving the value of 5 into the global variable val the program just prints out the value of the new value of the global variable and it returns. So let's try to run this program and see if the results are consistent with our expectations. So in order to build this program I have a make file here which is a very simple one. All it does is it invokes G++ and on the source file example 0.cpp and the output executable is an example 0. So let's first build this file. The program is built and now I run the executable and it shows that the value 
I obtained is 5 which is in line with my expectations. So I've moved a value of 5 to EAX and then moved that value into the global variable and when I display the value I get a value of 5. So this in this tutorial we have learned a very basic example of uh, how to do some inline assembly programming. In the next tutorial we will learn how to manipulate global variables and local variables. Notice in this example we have only had a global variable so uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to manipulate both global and local variables. See you in the next video.